Yeah, hello everyone. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Am I visible to all? Tell me yes. I am good, Nidhi. How are you all? Hello, Devashish. Good evening, Nidhi. Yeah, so, uh, We are doing the important questions of quadratic equation today. So uh, we'll start in another two to three minutes. Let everyone join. I'm good, Nidhi. How are you? Hello, Itesh. Hello, Devashish. How are you all? Hope I am visible and audible to you all. Okay, so we'll start in another one minute or so. So hope you have done this chapter and. Uh, Generally, what we do in quadratic equation, the quadratic equation is a very important chapter where there are limited sums. We have different methods to solve quadratic equation. The first method is obviously splitting the middle term, the factorization method which we have already done in class 7th, 8th, and 9th. The same is thing is there in class 10th also. But in this term, need to study two different methods. One is D method, discriminant method, another is completing the square method. But completing the square method is not coming this year. So in this year syllabus, completing the square method, it is bar ke syllabus se delete ho gaye, right? So aapke doi method bacha. First method is obviously factorization method which is easy. And most of the word problem sums we do it with the help of that only and rest is basically completing the whole square method Uspe sare sums aayenge. and the different type of sum jo hume karna hai uh, we'll see that okay so we will do all the important questions of quality question today what are the questions which comes of one mark two marks three marks four marks ye hum log aaj karenge. right so let's start the important questions of quadratic equation for our class 10. So what we will study? In study we will see the different methods to solve quadratic equation. Right? So the different methods to solve quadratic equation. Obviously, the first method is the factorization method. The factorization method. Then the most important is D method, the discriminant method, right? discriminant method. So discriminant method we have bring in. Right. Or ye to important hai or is pehi based hai sums and then what type of sums comes on discriminant method and all and then finally the word problems. Okay. The word problems. So these are the, these are the types of questions that comes in board exam or hame is pay or detail me aaj okay so the questions that comes in quadratic equation is of one marker sum aate hain 
टू मार्कर्स आते हैं थ्री मार्कर्स एंड फोर मार्कर्स किस टाइप के क्वेश्चन कैसे आते हैं वही हमें आज सीखना है राइट स्टार्ट दिस इज अबाउट मी माई सेल्फ कुनाल चौहान पास मेनी ऑफ माई स्टूडेंट्स हैव गॉट दिस परफेक्ट स्कोर तो हेयर एम आई टू हेल्प यू ऑल टू गेट दैट परफेक्ट स्कोर बट ऑब्वियसली नथिंग लेस दैन नथिंग लेस दैन नाइनटीन राइट दिस इज अबाउट एन अकेडमी प्लस वेर यू हैव लाइव क्लासेस फॉर ऑल सब्जेक्ट्स डेली वीकली क्विज डाउट सॉल्विंग लाइव क्लासेस आई आल्सो लाइक वेरी मच वेर आई हैव सॉल्व द इंस्टेंट डाउट्स ऑफ ऑल द किड्स ओके प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव लॉट्स ऑफ लॉट्स ऑफ प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव डिफरेंट टेस्ट सीरीज एंड इफ यू हैवंट जॉइन द प्लस प्लेटफॉर्म यूज दिस रेफरल कोड केसी केसी07 टू गेट दिस 10% डिस्काउंट राइट सो सो these are the ongoing batches right and these are the different subscription available for uh different courses right uh and this is the process to get into how to get the app okay how do you get the subscription so this is explained in different uh ways and these are six types to Six steps to get the academy app, and then how to join it, how to pay the fees. Everything is there. Okay, so this has a detailed description. Now this is the course that I started in the month of July. This was complete course where P and Ankit sir is doing maths regularly. Right, I am available every day from Monday to Saturday. I am available every day two to three. There is a batch course which is going on Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. In this batch course, I basically teach the topics. The topics that I have covered is almost all the NCERT chapters. I am doing the 13th chapter right now. So 13th chapter, menstruation, surface area, volume care. I am doing that, and that class is regularly Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Apart from that, I am also available Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, same time. In these. Days I generally revise the old stuff. Okay, so in the next month also I am coming up with a different way to revise the chapters that we have already done. And this Friday is doubts class. This is our open doubts class where you can ask doubts from any chapter. From any chapter you can ask the doubts and it will be solved then and there only in that class. Okay, so use this referral code. Now this is the batch that I am going to start in class. It in, from first October is the new batch that I am launching, and I am starting at eleventh. Till now I was just teaching class tenth and twelfth. Now I am starting class eleventh also. So uh, I will really be teaching from Monday to Friday, and this will be the time. This is the fresh batch, right? So let's crack final exam. It's a four month duration course. Right? So I will be at level nine fifteen to. And 15, and these are the different teachers who will be teaching other subjects: physics, chemistry, English, biology. Right. So all these these teachers are available. Okay. So this is the batch I am that I am launching. Okay. So now let's start. Let's put our thinking cap on and let's start. And uh, this is the course detail. Where everyone should know this because when you know the type of question, when you know the total marks that comes from a particular topic. then only you are well prepared and you are well accustomed to solve all those sum right so this is quadratic equation and this is algebra quadratic equation is a algebra is of 20 marks and uh, polynomials linear equation quadratic equation if we this constitute algebra so quadratic equation se kya kya aayega kis tarike ki question aayenge we will discuss that today past i have discussed chapter 1 2 3 I have discussed trigonometry. I have discussed triangles. Now this is the next chapter, quadratic equation. I will in detail me tell you. Right? So let's start. So in quadratic equation, you can get one marker, two marker, three marker, four marker sum. So what are the one marker sum? So sums like this. Check whether four x minus three minus sixteen x square plus fifteen is a quadratic equation or not. This is a very basic question from the first exercise, and we know about quadratic equation. That it is of the form a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. A quadratic equation of form it, right? So, कोई भी quadratic equation तभी हो सकता है where when you have at 
least a as a coefficient of x square constant term hona chahiye b hona chahiye what are the things available so we will see this whether this is a quadratic equation or not we need to give the answer in yes or no so obviously we will open this right so open this so when you open this this becomes what a square plus b square a square plus b square minus 2ab right minus 2ab minus 16x square plus 15 is equal to 0 so open this up this is 16x square plus 9 minus 8 24x minus 16x square plus 15 is equal to 0 this gets cancelled so minus 24x plus 24 Is equal to zero, so you can say when you take to that side, a uh, 24x minus 24 is equal to zero, or you can say x minus one is equal to zero. Now this is not a quadratic equation, right? So this is a one marker sum. No, it's not a quadratic equation. Why? Because you don't have this a x square. X square का term नहीं है तो ये quadratic equation नहीं होगा. And these are the types of sums which comes in one marker. Either it comes in true or false question. In one marker, you have MCQ type questions, right? You have filling the blanks question, filling the blanks ki question aate hain. This we discuss every Monday, Wednesday class. Me, I discuss karta hoon what other type of question which comes. Make test paper we discuss karta hoon so that you are knowing the type of pattern comes in the which comes in the board exam. Is there any kind of question? Which se chapter se aata hai? Ye every week me discuss karta. So MCQ filling the blanks, true and false questions, ah, ये भी आता है and एक reason assumption भी questions आते हैं, right? So this is the one marker type of question, right? Yeah, okay. So now next one marker sum, it's a very basic. Find the d of quadratic equation. हमें d निकालना है, right? And we know about quadratic equation. Just a quick revision. If this is a quadratic equation, a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. We know about d. What is d? d is b square minus 4ac. Okay. What is a? a is the coefficient of x square. What is b? is the coefficient of x. What is c? constant term. Then x क्या है? x होता है minus b plus minus under root of b by 2a. Right? So minus b plus minus under root of b by 2a. एक शॉर्ट रिविजन राइट इसमें हमें सिर्फ डिस्क्रिमिनेंट निकालना दिस इज अ वन मार्कर सर सो जस्ट गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए बी सी व्हाट इज ए ए इज द कोफिशिएंट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर व्हिच इज √3 राइट बी इज व्हाट बी इज माइनस 2√2 कोफिशिएंट ऑफ एक्स एंड व्हाट इज सी इज माइनस 2√3 टू गेट डी एक नंबर का क्वेश्चन है सिर्फ डी निकालना है ए बी सी लिखा डायरेक्टली बी स्क्वायर माइनस 4 ए सी निकाला तो बी स्क्वायर माइनस 2 का स्क्वायर दैट्स b स्क्वायर माइनस 4 इनटू a a इज √3 इनटू c इज माइनस √3 तो दिस इज a माइनस माइनस दिस विल बिकम प्लस 4 इनटू 8 इनटू √3 इनटू √3 राइट गॉट इट सो दिस इज 8 प्लस 24 8 प्लस 24 इज 32 what is so this is 32 so this is the d this is a perfect square number so if we say about the nature of the roots you know the nature of the roots are real and distinct and obviously this is not a perfect square so that means you will get irrational roots right clear everyone so this type of question again it's a one marker question right just a b c nikalna tha humne wo humne a b c nikal liya got it yeah okay sure So let's move on to the next part. Find the nature of the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation. So discussing about the nature of the roots. Okay, nature of roots. So d can be three things. D can be greater than zero. D can be equal to zero, or d can be less than zero. Right? We know all this. So nature of roots. If these greater than zero, we say what roots are roots are real and distinct. अलग अलग roots हैं, right? Different roots. Roots are real and distinct. When we say t is equal to zero, we say we 
This is this is what we say nature of root. Right? So either you need to find the value of d. In any case, we need to find the value of d whether it says to find discriminant or the nature of the roots. And when you have nature of roots, this is the way to get it. Okay. So just a quick revision. So whenever I say important questions, I always keep in mind you should revise this stuff. You have done it. It's a quick revision. Revising it in just one hour. Okay. So what are the types of questions comes in one marker? These are the first, second, and third type of sum, right? Generally, you can have a one marker sum like that, or a, or a filling the blanks, or two and false question. Okay, so that is that was about one marker sum. Now, when we talk about two markers, in this, obviously, in the last type of sum, one marker sum, बहुत ज़्यादा calculation दिखाने की ज़रूरत नहीं है. Just get A, B, C, just find D, and that's all. If it's an MCQ type question, no solution ki bhi zarurat nahi. But in a two marker sum, aapko solution ki dikhana hai. Aap to show what type of sums come and how to solve it. Need to solve at least B4. Matlab, is mein aapko solution dikhana hai. Steps dikhana hai. Mark steps ke bhi. So you need to take care of that. Right? Now, <coughs> two markers mein, a rectangular field is 16 meter long, 10 meter wide. There is a path of uniform width all around it, having an area of 120 meter square. Form the quadratic equation. So what it says, there is a rectangular field. Okay. So suppose this is the rectangle. It says there is a path of uniform all around it. Right. So there is a path all around it. This is the rectangular field, right? So the length is 16, breadth is 10, right? So length is 16 meter, breadth is 10 meter. A rectangular field, 16 meter long, 10 meter wide. There is a path of uniform width all around it, having an area of 120 meter square. So let this path, this width, be x. Okay. So the original length is 16 meter, and the breadth. Is 10 meter, right? Now the new length, new length is what? 16 plus 2x, right? Why 2x? Because there is an increment of x here also and x here also. So both side x x meter increases. So in total length, there is an increase in x meter on the left hand side and increase in x meter on the right hand side. That means 16 plus 2x. Similarly, breadth will also be 10 plus 2x. So The area of path, area of that path which is all around it, area of path which is 120 meter square. This is the bigger length breadth LB minus the smaller length breadth which is LB. Okay, 
so which is 120 so bigger length breadth that is what 16 plus 2x into 10 plus 2x minus minus 16 into 10 this is 120 so you just need to form the quadratic equation you don't have to solve you just open it form the quadratic equation that is what it's a two marker sum so open it up <coughs> so open it up so this will be 160 uh, plus 32x plus 20x plus 4x square minus 160 is 120 so this 160 160 goes so quadratic equation is 4x square plus 52x right minus 120 is equal to 0. so the quadratic equation the quadratic equation will be will be uh, divided by 4 this is x square plus 13x plus 13x minus 30 equal to 0. So, this is the quantity you don't have to solve, right? If it's a solving sum, then it will be a 3 marker or a 4 marker. But they have just said form the quantity equation. Got it? So, this is a 2 marker sum. What problem? But presented in a very easy manner so that you get the equation and just leave the answer here only. Okay? ज़्यादा सॉल्व नहीं करना है, क्योंकि ज़्यादा सॉल्व करने से मार्क्स नहीं आता है। जो क्वेश्चन ने पूछा है, वही आप पांच साल देना है, दस सॉल्व। Got it? So it's a two mark sum. ठीक है? Yeah. So let's move on to the next two mark type of sum. This is a new sum. This is there in your fourth exercise. Find the value of k for which the quadratic equation has equal roots. Also find the roots. So when when it's an equal roots, so that means e is equal to 0. So, what is the value of a? What is the value of a? Obviously, it's coefficient of x square 3k plus 1. What is the value of b? Is the coefficient of x which is 2 into k plus 1 into x, right? And what is c? c is 1. So, d kya hai? d is b square minus 4ac is equal to 0. So, b square is 2 into k plus 1 whole square minus 4 into a which is 3k plus 1 into c which is 1 is equal to 0 open the bracket so this is 4 a square plus 2k plus 1 minus 4 into 3k plus 1 is equal to 0 take that 4 common what is left k square plus 2k plus 1 minus 3k minus 1 is equal to 0 this 1 1 goes 4 goes so k square minus k is equal to 0 take that k common when you take that k common just a second Three. what happened Okay. Okay. So this is the thing. This is the thing left. Sorry, don't know what happened. So when you take this k minus one, this is zero. So either k is zero or the value is 1. So, k0 is it possible? Yeah, is it possible? k0, yeah, this is possible. k1, yeah, k1 is also possible. So, both are the values. So, we say uh, this are the values. Also find the roots. Also find the roots. Put the value of k. Get the answer. But if this comes, if this part comes, it won't be a 2 marker. It will be a 3 marker. Right? So, this I have just added. They can ask you to find the roots, but if they ask you to find the roots, it will be a 3 marker sum. And roots kaise nikalte hai? Obviously, k ka value 0 ya 1 dal do. Jo bhi equation a gaya, solve it to get the answer. I am just giving an example by putting if, if k is equal to 0, tab kya hota hai? 
when you put k is equal to 0 so the equation will be x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 this is the quadratic equation x plus 1 x plus 1 is equal to 0 so in that case x will be minus 1 minus 1 right but ye tabhi aega this part will be coming when it's a t marker sir not a 2 mark okay nahi to 2 markers ke liye aapko wahi pe equal roots pe hi ho jayega okay got it okay so let's move on to the next two marker sum uh sums like this and this is there in your third exercise also the third exercise i think question number uh, 2 3 4 is based on that only okay where you just need to solve like this make a quadratic equation right and solve it to get the answer so this is x minus 1 into x plus 2 right x minus 1 into x plus 2 clear so take the lcm x plus 1 into x plus 2 plus x minus 1 into x minus 2 that is equal to 3 clear yeah good good it is yeah good okay so now x plus 1 x minus 1 ye solve karna hai open karo bracket x square plus 3x plus 2 a jayega idhar when you open this this will become x square minus 3x plus 2 is equal to yeah upon open the bracket the denominator one so this will be x square plus x because plus 2 minus x is plus x or you can say a plus b a is minus 1 b is 2 minus 1 plus 2 will be plus 1 and minus 2 this is equal to 3 so here the 3x 3x goes so what is left 2x is square plus 2 plus 2 is just 4 equal to 3 into x square plus x minus 2 open the bracket 2x square plus 4 is equal to 3x square plus 3x minus 6 take it one side 0 is equal to x square plus 3x minus 10 I think you can solve this now what are the answers tell me x square plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 you take a solve yeah this is x plus 5 into x minus 2 plus 5x minus 2 right x is minus 5 and 2 this is the final term right so this is again a 2 marker sum a 2 marker sum hai, right uh, let me write a bit they say neatly right so this is x is equal to minus 5 and x is equal to okay got it got it everyone got it good now plus 5 and minus 2 no it is yeah minus 5 and 2 yeah right yeah right right it is got up good sure Thank you. good sir okay sure. so this where the two marker now the next two marker this is there from your ncrt the sum of two numbers is 50 if the sum of their reciprocal is 3 by 10 find the two numbers right so if the sum of two numbers is 50 if if one number if one number is x therefore the other will be equal to 15 minus x right and their reciprocal ka sum so 1 by x plus 1 by 15 minus x galti ye hoti hai kya bachcha x minus 15 likh dete hai tab kya padho ja right so 1 by x plus 1 by 15 minus x so ek number x hai to dusra number 15 minus x hoga ye kya number so 1 by x plus 1 by 15 minus x is 3 by 10 now obviously we know what to do just take the lcm x 15 minus x so this is 15 minus x plus x is equal to 3 by 10 x yeah so 15 into 10 is equal to cross multiply 3 into 15 x minus x square 3 how many times 5 times this is 50 
equal to in x minus x square x square minus 15x plus 50 is equal to 0 split the middle term x minus 5 x minus 10 equal to 0 so the two numbers are 5 and 10 got it so these are two marker sums from quadratic equation right easy hope these are easy now yeah got it okay any questions yeah anybody any questions till now good 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 very good yeah okay okay so these were the two markers now something about the new thing that we launched an academy on an academy this is class 6 and 8 that has been launched from this year this month so an academy subscription for cbsc class 6 and 8 is already launched from uh, in, in october september as well so this is the eureka batch of math science ssd syllabus so class 6 7th and 8 and this is starting from 6th of october so you didn't have the idea ye ek naya feature hai naya uh, naya cheez hum an academy pe start hua hai so yeah, siblings just tell them to get enrolled this will be very beneficial and see the present situation where uh, i don't think schools will open this year better uh, tell your siblings to join i think that will be very beneficial to them okay yeah these are the fee structures available from 6 to 12th, right? These are the monthly subscription and click for a longer period as uh, uh, subscription available will be uh, for them with them till class 12th. And the moment you increase the months, obviously the price per month gets reduced. It's, it's a good offer for all, all of the kids who are in class 6, 7th and 8th. For class 7th to 12th, <coughs> all the different structures then from 8 to 12th with the uh, different uh, structures yeah okay yeah. yeah good it is good good Aryan okay sure and this is what I was talking about class 11 that I am starting from uh, 1st October I will be teaching class 11th as well till now I was just teaching class 10th and uh, 12th now i am teaching class 11th also from 1st of october okay yeah so this was about an academy the plus features i am available on plus platform every day for class 10 from 2 to 3 right and for 12th i will be available every day from 7 45 to 8 45 every day and for class 11th, now I will be available every day from 9.15 to 10.15, right? So, that will be the time schedule for class 10th, 12th and 11th. And almost every day I will be available apart from uh, the Sundays or some of the some of the breaks, okay? So, just follow me on my Unacademy platform. You will be getting all the notifications, okay? Yeah, yeah. So now three marks. Three marks ke sum. So those sums with there in two markers. I said ki if they change the sum, there can be a three marker sums like that. Now the next is find the roots of the quadratic equation by the method of discriminant. Okay. T method se nikalna. T method to we know we know the we need to find the roots. But before that, we need to find the discriminant. Suppose whenever a question like this comes, when you have letters. Change the formula that you have learned in capital T. Okay. So A is what? A square. B is what? Capital B is what? Minus 3AB. And capital C is what? B square. Right? So, I was saying that if there are letters in the question, then you change your formula in capital letters. Mein change kar. Because confusion will not be right? To, Reduce that confusion. We 
convert R formula in capital letters. So A, the coefficient of x square, which is A square. B, coefficient of x, which is minus 3ab. C, 2b square, right? So A. So A pehle D nikaloge B square minus 4ac. So this is minus 3ab whole square. Minus 4 into A is A square and C which is 2B square. So this is 9A square B square to minus this is 8A square B square. So what you got? A square B square. Remember whenever you have a letter type of sum, 99.9% case, we have the perfect square number. I am saying that if letter type of sum, हमेशा परफेक्ट स्क्वायर होगा नहीं तो आगे आप सॉल्व नहीं कर पाओ राइट सो एक्स इज व्हाट एक्स इज इन कैपिटल लेटर्स माइनस बी प्लस माइनस अंडर रूट ऑफ डी बाय डी ठीक है तो ये कैपिटल लेटर्स तो जो डी आएगा इफ इट्स अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर नंबर तभी ये रूट निकलेगा नहीं तो रूट नहीं निकल पाएगा और रूट ही निकलेगा था सवाल सवाल ही सॉल्व नहीं होगा राइट तो ऑलवेज दिस डी विल बी अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर नंबर रिमेंबर दैट राइट सो माइनस बी minus b is what here is this so minus minus plus so this will be 3 a b plus minus under root of a square b square by by 2 a okay so this is a trick if you are in letters then you may be jump in values so you have to remember that perfect square will be made by itself either it will be a square plus b square plus 2 a b or it will be a square plus b square minus 2 a b but it will be a perfect square okay so if it's a perfect square number, then only you can easily solve this. So 3ab plus minus ab by 2a square. So x ke do values hain. What are the values of x? x ka ek value hoga 3ab plus ab by 2a square, which is 4ab by 2a square. Cut pit karao. So a a kat gaya. That's 2b by a. Ek to value ye aega. दूसरा x का माइनस लेकर के कर दो दिस इज 3ab माइनस ab 3ab माइनस ab बाय 2a स्क्वायर दैट विल बी दैट विल बी 2ab बाय 2a स्क्वायर सो आंसर विल बी जस्ट b बाय a तो ये दो आंसर्स है b बाय a और 2b बाय a दैट आर द टू आंसर्स Okay, so remember this. Remember this. So this is a quadratic equation solved in a very easy manner. Yeah, Ram says solve hoga. Just solve this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Note it down. It's very easy. Okay. So this is a three marker sum. Then some sums of quadratic equation come can come of three markers. And remember. अगर क्वाड्रेटिक क्वेश्चन है थ्री मार्कर्स का है तो इजी होगा थोड़ा टफ होगा तो इट विल बी अ फोर मार्कर सा ओके ओके शा गुड सो द हाइपोटेनस ऑफ अ राइट ट्रायंगल इज वन मीटर लेस देन ट्वाइस द शॉर्टेस्ट साइड इफ द थर्ड साइड इज वन मीटर मोर देन द शॉर्टेस्ट साइड देन फाइंड द राइट ऑफ द ट्रायंगल सो दैट मींस इट्स टॉकिंग अबाउट द राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल Right angle triangle we know. So suppose this is the smallest side x. This is A B C where B is 90 degree. So this is the shortest side. So if the shortest side let the shortest side be x meter. Therefore uh, third side, yeah, the third side, yeah. Therefore, the third side will be what? It says third side is 1 meter more than the shortest side. So, third side will be equal to x plus 1, right? So, this is x plus 1. And what about the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse of right triangle is 1 meter less than, 1 meter less than twice the shortest side. So twice the shortest side will be 2x, right? So, hypotenuse. So, hypotenuse will be what? Hypotenuse will be. 1 meter less than twice the shortest side. So, so shortest side is x, twice the shortest side is 2x. 
1 meter less than twice the shadow side, this is 2x minus 1. So if this is x, this is x plus 1. So this is what 2x minus 1. And we know <coughs> it's a Pythagoras theorem. So what is that? AC square is equal to AB chi square plus BC chi square. So AC chi square kya hai? 2x minus 1 chi square hai. AB kya hai? x plus 1 hai. x plus 1 chi square. And what is BC? That is x chi square. Open this. So 4x square minus 4x plus 1 is equal to x square plus 2x plus 1 plus x square. Take it to one side. So 4x square minus 2x square. This will be 2x square minus 4x plus 2x is minus 6x. And 1, 1, 1, 1. This gets cancelled. So this is 0. Take 2x common. x minus 3 is equal to 0. Implies x is 0 or 3. Obviously x 0 to hoga nahi. Right? x to 0 hoga nahi. So that means finally x will be what are the three sides? They have asked about find the three sides of the triangle. Remember, even after finding x out of three, you will get two or two and a half because आपने answer नहीं लिखा. जो वो चाहते हैं, वो लिखना जरूरी है. Whatever they have asked, you need to write that. Okay. So finally, what is BC? You have to tell me, tell tell them about the sides as well. BC is x, which is three meters. You have to indicate that. AB is what? It is four meter and what is the hypotenuse AC which is 6 minus 1 5 meter and then you can cross check it then and there only we know 5 square is equal to 4 square plus 3 square so whenever you solve this it will be a double tick sum because you just recheck that okay cross verify bhi kar liya so boards may give perfect 3 markers up okay so this is the way okay with this done okay so the three marker sum the last three marker sum that is coming is this again uh, either a letter type of sum for d method or word problem which is easy is is basically three marker if it's a tough word problem sum thoda so complicated hai, or it's a one page solution then you will get a four markers okay Chal. so let's do the last type of these sum <coughs> for three markers an employer finds that if he increases the weekly wages of each worker by 3 and employs one worker less, he reduces his weekly wages bill by 816 to 781. Taking the original weekly wages of each worker to be x, form a quadratic equation and solve it to find weekly wages of each worker. Okay, so is kya karna hai? we have to take each worker as x. So, Initially, there were 816 workers, right? So, there were 816 workers. An employer finds that if he increase the weekly wages of each worker by 3. So, initially, weekly wages jo tha, wo x tha, right? So, weekly wage was x. After increasing, after increasing, became x plus 3. Question ka matlab hai, agar wo 3 rupay badha diya weekly wages or employs one worker less, to ek worker uska kam ho jayega, he reduces his weekly wage bill by 816 to 8781. Pahle bill 816 ka tha, ab jo bill hai 781 ka ho jayega, right? So previously, if there were 816 bill, there used to work there used to work 816 by x. Itne worker pehle kaam karte the. 816 by x. Right? Because weekly wage of each worker was x. Jab 3 rupees bad gaya. Okay? So, or 8 labor kam ho gaya. So, in that case, it is 781 by x plus 3. Right? One worker kam ho gaya. This is the number of worker initially. Then when you increased it, you just subtracted just increase the number of worker by one then you just need to employ one worker less or aapka weekly bill be ghat jayega so this is the quadratic equation that you have to solve okay so pehle jitne bhi workers the suppose 10 workers the 
तो 816 बिल हो रहा बट अगर थ्री रुपीज इंक्रीज कर दो और वन वर्कर को कम कर दो सो योर वीकली वेजेस विल बी सेवन एटी तो ऐसे कॉस्ट कटिंग कंपनियां भी करती है तो वर्क प्रॉब्लम सम्स ऑल सम्स आर नॉट रिलेटेड इट इज ऑल सम्स आर नॉट रिलेटेड बच्चे देर आर फ्यू सम्स इन क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन आई डोंट थिंक ओनली वन थिंग इज कट दैट इज कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर मेथड राइट कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर मेथड ये डिलीट हुआ कंप्लीटिंग द स्क्वायर मेथड दिस इज ओनली डिलीटेड फ्रॉम द सिलेबस व्हाट प्रॉब्लम इज स्टिल देयर बच्चे राइट इक्वेशन या क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन के वर्ड प्रॉब्लम से एक क्वेश्चन पक्का आएगा फोर मार्कर्स का दैट इज फॉर श्योर ठीक है सो दिस द थ्री मार्कर्स आर एंड जस्ट फॉर्मुलेट दिस सॉल्व दिस यू विल गेट द आंसर ठीक है नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू द फोर मार्कर्स सम फोर मार्कर्स के सम्स कैसे आते हैं ठीक है लेस उसमें हम लोग सॉल्व करेंगे क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन सो नाउ दिस आर द डेली 2020 एमसीक्यू टेस्ट व्हिच हैज बीन स्टार्टेड बाय अन एकेडमी फॉर बोथ क्लास 9th एंड 10th daily 130 we have test okay so if you have done with the chapter it's a very good revision where you can solve mcq type questions and seeing the half yearly exam and the and the exam pattern taken by the school this is a big help right so do practice it okay now this is the half yearly uh, crash course that has been started uh, this month from 7 september those join join it and use this referral code pc07 both for class 9th and 10th this is the available thing right chal yeah. okay so now the last part the four markers so we have discussed the section a one marker sum section b two marker sum section c three marker sum now we are heading towards section d the four marker sum and here all those complicated type of questions speed time upstream downstream uh, some sums related to ages and all when very very have a complicated calculation वैसे वर्ड प्रॉब्लम के सम्स फोर मार्कर्स में आएंगे एंड एवरी ईयर इट कम्स राइट सो लेट्स सॉल्व दिस सी हाउ वी सॉल्व दिस सो स्वाति कैन रो हर बोट एट अ स्पीड ऑफ 5 किलोमीटर पर आवर इन स्टिल वाटर इफ शी टेक्स 1 आवर मोर टू रो द बोट 5.25 किलोमीटर अपस्ट्रीम देन टू रिटर्न डाउनस्ट्रीम देन द स्पीड ऑफ द स्ट्रीम देन फाइंड द स्पीड ऑफ द स्ट्रीम राइट सो लेट the speed of stream let the speed of stream be x kilometer per hour therefore our speed in downstream direction okay therefore speed in downstream direction डाउनस्ट्रीम डायरेक्शन में क्या होगा स्पीड डाउनस्ट्रीम डायरेक्शन में दैट मींस विद द फ्लो ऑफ द रिवर राइट तो जिधर रिवर का फ्लो है उधर ही आप भी ड्राइव कर रहे हो आप भी रो कर रहे हो राइट तो उसमें स्पीड ऐड होगा तो आपका स्पीड है x और बोट का स्पीड इज 5 सो स्पीड इन डाउनस्ट्रीम डायरेक्शन ऑफ रोइंग विल बी 5 plus x किलोमीटर पर राइट सिमिलरली a speed in upstream direction opposite to the flow of the river upstream direction that will be less pi minus x kilometer per hour right so the distance that she is rowing is 5.25 kilometer if she takes one hour more to row the boat 5.25 kilometer upstream than to return downstream then find the speed of the stream right now time taken to row upstream so we know distance is equal to speed into time so obviously time will be equal to distance upon speed so distance upstream is same 5.25 and speed in upstream direction is less 5 minus x similarly time taken to go downstream this is 5.25 upon speed in downstream direction which is 5 plus x what we know we know time taken to go upstream is 1 hour more than what it takes to go downstream upstream jane mein 1 ghanta zyada lagta hai to 1 ghanta zyada lagta hai to kya karenge 
टाइम टेकन टू गो अप स्ट्रीम माइनस टाइम टेकन टू गो डाउन स्ट्रीम इज वन ठीक है सो दिस इज 5.25 बाय 5 माइनस x माइनस 5.25 बाय 5 प्लस x दिस टू बस राइट नाउ होप यू कैन सॉल्व दिस ओके चलो थोड़ा सा मैं भी सॉल्व कर देता हूं लेट्स सी दिस so take better take that 5.25 common and take lcm so 5 minus x 5 plus x this is 5 plus x and there's a minus there so minus 5 and plus x that is equal to 1 this 5 5 goes x x 2 5.25 5.25 into x will be equal to a minus b a plus b cross multiply a square minus b square take to one side so x square minus this is plus 5.25 into 2 is obviously 10.5 so 10.5 x minus 25 is equal to 0 so finally solve this multiply it with 2 this is 2x square plus 21x Minus fifty is equal to zero. Solve this and get the this is hundred. So twenty five four times. So two x square. Splitting say हो जाएगा minus four x plus twenty five x minus fifty is equal to zero. So take two x common x minus two. You have take twenty five common x minus two is equal to zero. So x minus 2 and 2x plus 25 will be equal to 0. Okay, so that means x is the right answer because x can't be minus 25. So speed of the stream will be 2 kilometer per hour. So that's a lengthy sum. That's why it will become a four marker sum. ये four marker का sum है. And this is the way to solve it. And last, me, it na bhi hoga ki therefore the speed of the stream is two kilometer per hour because take a step ke marks it, right? So how to let it let the speed of the stream be x? Do the presentation and bilkul saaf utra hona chahiye, bilkul clean. Not the way that I have solved. You will solve it in one page, bilkul saaf utra and clean hona chahiye. Then only you will get four on four, right? Yeah. So the next type of word problem we have seen almost all the types. Okay, so now in the next four mark sum for today, or you can say the last sum for today is this one. Again, this is the favorite type of CBSC uh, board exam. The favorite type of sum is this way. Okay, this question comes up upstream, downstream, or this. This is a little complicated. Hai. And we use the concept of distance. Speed and time, right? So here, in a flight of 3,000 km, an aircraft was slowed down due to bad weather. The average speed of the trip was reduced by 100 km per hour, and consequently, time of the flight increased by one hour. Find the original duration of the flight. Okay, so let the original speed. Let the original speed. Of the flight, original speed of the flight be x kilometer per hour. Okay, and due to bad weather, an aircraft was slowed down due to bad weather. Its average speed of trip was reduced by this. Okay, so def and reduce. Therefore, the reduced speed. Reduced speed is what? Reduced speed is x minus 100 kilometer per hour. So time taken usually was distance is 3000. Speed is x. So we know distance equal to speed into time. Time will be equal to distance upon speed, right? And remember, 
they have asked about the original duration of the flight. So I have always said कि x निकालना आंसर नहीं होता है, x निकालने के बाद भी कुछ ना कुछ होगा, उससे finally बताओ, then you will get the full marks. So usually time taken 3000 by x था, time after getting the speed reduced, या the reduced time taken, या the increased time taken after the speed is reduced, or I just denote it as tr, that is 3000 by x minus 100. So कौन सा टाइम टेकन मोर होगा? Obviously reduced speed से टाइम टेकन will be more than the original speed. आपने अगर स्पीड कम कर दिया है, तो obviously टाइम टेकन ज़्यादा होगा. And that is what it is saying. So average speed of the trip was reduced by 100 km per hour and consequently the time of the flight increased by one hour. एक घंटा बढ़ गया. Okay, so that means tr minus tu equal to one. ये ज़्यादा है. ये टाइम टेकन ज़्यादा है. So solve this. Again, same thing, 3000 by x minus 100 minus minus 3000 by x, this is 1. Take that 3000 common, this is 1 by x minus 100 minus 1 by x is equal to 1. And just say, we have solved it, we will solve it in the same way. Okay, so 3000. Take the LCM, this is x minus x plus 100 by this is x minus 100 into x. This is equal to 1, this x is go. This is 3000 followed by two more zeros. Cross multiply x square minus 100x. So x square minus 100x minus 100x minus 3 lakhs. So 3 followed by 5 zeros, right? Is equal to is equal to 0. Now ye quadratic equation pura solve karna hai and then ye hai. Or ye quadratic equation ko solve karni ke liye better use D method. D method se hi solve karna. Nahi to mushkil ho jayega. So 100 plus minus B square minus B which is 100 because A is 1. B is Minus 100, always write this A, B, C, right? A is 100. Okay. So, B, B is minus 100. And C is this is the complicated value, right? So splitting se thoda mushkil ho jayega. So better solve it by better solve it by using this. Okay. So hundred plus minus B square. B square will be four zeros minus four AC, but this is plus four three is twelve. And four threes are twelve, and followed by five zeros. So one, two, three, four, five divided by a two into one. Okay, so two into one, right? So this is equal to hundred plus minus. You added one twenty one. So this is 1 to 1, right, followed by 4 zeros by 2. So this is 100 plus minus 1 to 1, the square root is 11 and double zero by 2. So minus obviously we won't take, so plus 1, this is 100 plus 11, 100, 1200 by 2. So speed of the flight is x kilometer per hour. But remember, this is not the answer. X is not the answer. Why? Why this is not the answer? Because say the original duration of the flight, so time taken will be 3000, 3000 divided by the speed which is 600. So originally the time taken was 5 hours. So this is the final right answer, right? So this will be the final answer. 
फाइव आर्स ओके सो टाइम टेकन इज फाइव आर्स ये फाइनल आंसर हो ठीक है सो तुम्हें मत सो दिस इज व्हाई दिस इज फोर मार्कर नाउ इट इज क्वेश्चन तो ये फोर मार्क्स का है बिकॉज इसमें कैलकुलेशन ज्यादा है सब चीज है कॉम्प्लिकेटेड पार्ट है एंड एट द एंड द वेरी एंड सबसे एंड की बात ये है कि आंसर वो नहीं है जो आपने निकाला है एक्स इज नॉट द आंसर आंसर इज ओरिजिनल ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द फ्लाइट सो ओरिजिनल ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द फ्लाइट निकालना था हमें सो ओरिजिनल ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द फ्लाइट के लिए डिस्टेंस अपॉन स्पीड करना था स्पीड भी गॉट सिक्स हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाई ओरिजिनल डिस्टेंस कवर्ड दैट विल गिव यू दस तो आज हमने फिर से क्वान्टिटी की क्वेश्चन चैप्टर किया एज आई सेट आई हैव डन द इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ चैप्टर वन रियल नंबर चैप्टर टू पॉलिनोमल्स as well as linear equation then i did important questions on trigonometry then i did triangles and today i did quadratic so ye humne six chapters kar liye hain after quadratic equation obviously we will come up with next month we will come up with important questions on coordinate geometry and then ap and coordinate geometry so these are the two chapters that i will be doing next month until then thank you thanks for coming and and uh just to wind up just the things that i need to discuss again this is the batch that we and ankit sir are doing right so this is the batch that i am doing okay so every day 2 to 3 i am available we started this for july and we are finishing this off uh this month this is the time that ankit sir generally does for 35 to 30 monday will be friday i come tuesday to saturday apart from this i am also available on monday wednesday friday and i have discussed monday wednesday friday this is basically revision right friday is all doubts class we take doubts from anywhere right and this is basically uh the revision class monday wednesday we discuss the chapters that we have already done the type of questions come test papers that is what we discuss okay uh yeah finally again class 11 that i am starting from 1st of october 1st october say i am starting this batch so if you have siblings then you can tell them i am starting this batch from the next next month that is from 1st october every day i will be available from 9:15 to 10:15 okay sure okay so what will study next as i discussed next class me will be doing important questions on ap we will be doing important questions on ap arithmetic progression and then we'll be doing coordinate geometry as well right cg ap and arithmetic progression and coordinate geometry right sure any any, any confusion any question you can ask me yeah good evening to everyone Yeah, sure. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming. And now, just winding it up. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Take care, everyone. Bye. Ah, uh, hope you enjoyed this session. We will be having many more sessions like this. See you. Ah, uh, in the next class. Right.